contact with those that are sick. If you have respiratory symptoms, have recently traveled from an affected area, or had contact with a person with COVID-19, please call your health care provider to ask if you should be tested. At Exmark, we know living happens outdoors and that you can trust our Radius Commercial Zero Turn Riders to get on and off the lawn more quickly. Thanks to the signature Exmark features more landscape pros trust. So you can spend less time mowing and more time doing the things you love. Stop by your local dealer or visit Exmark.com to experience an Exmark Radius. Your Exmark dealer, Westover Lawn and Garden in Albany and Westover Outdoor Power Equipment Americas. Take a spring breakaway with Michelin Tires and get a $70 reward card after submission with your purchase of four new select Michelin Tires over valid March 18th through April 6th. Plus, enter for the chance to win a trip for two to New York City from Michelin. Come into Bernie's Tire Service in Albany, your local tire and alignment specialist for more than 30 years. For cars, trucks, SUVs, and semi-trucks, their service and expertise in the shop far exceeds all others. Bernie's Tire Service, your Michelin Tire Source on Moultrie Road in Albany. <laughs> Visit one of Sunbelt Ford's quick lane service centers. No appointment needed. This is WAOB News 10 with breaking news. Time now is 6 o'clock. We do start with breaking news this morning. Albany police are investigating an officer-involved shooting that happened less than three hours ago. The shooting happened on the 300 block of Broad Avenue Alley. We're looking at some video of the scene right here. Right now, West Broad Avenue is blocked off by police. It's blocked from North Jefferson Street to North Jackson Street. Albany police say no officers were hurt, but a suspect is being treated at the hospital. Police say the GBI is en route to investigate what happened. Right now, no word on when West Broad will open back up. Cases of COVID-19 continue to go up here in Georgia. The total now standing at 620 cases for the state as of 7 last night. 25 of those people have died. The state says 52 people who live in Doherty County have tested positive. Local health officials say there have been eight deaths in Doherty County. Six have happened at Phoebe, one at a home, and one at a nursing home. Sixteen people from Lee County have tested positive. Eight cases have been reported in Lowndes County. Early, Worth, Terrell, Tift, and Sumter counties all have reported two cases each. And Clinch, Coffey, Turner, Miller, and Randolph counties all have one case each. Now, the total deaths due to the coronavirus in Doherty County, again, does stand at eight. The total number of coronavirus-related deaths at Phoebe, six, and the two other deaths in the county happened at a home and a nursing home again. We have the latest numbers when it comes to COVID-19 results at Phoebe hospitals. As of Sunday, 103 people have tested positive at all Phoebe locations. There have been a total of six positive deaths. 38 of those cases are being treated at Phoebe, Maine in Albany. 59 people who tested positive are now at home. 70 people are waiting for test results at Phoebe, Maine. Eight people are waiting for results at Phoebe Sumter. 616 people are waiting for their results at home. In the wake of the pandemic, a shelter-in-place ordinance is now in effect. It continues until April 7th in Doherty County unless it is extended. Now, this means all non-essential travel through and in and out of the community is discouraged. This does not apply to those traveling to work in an essential business such as grocery stores, utilities, gas stations, and health workers. These businesses in Doherty County will stay open and they can only have 25% store occupancy and no more than 50 people inside at a time. Restaurants can only serve takeout, drive through and delivery meals. And everyone has to practice social distancing, staying six feet apart. And Albany City leaders are urging you to follow that shelter-in-place ordinance. They say this is an example of what not to do, a picture of a line of people around a food truck in a store parking lot. This goes against the shelter-in-place ordinance, according to the city. City Manager Sharon Subedan is pleading with the public to continue practicing social distancing and to stay in your home unless absolutely necessary. If people don't stay indoors, the spread of COVID-19 will continue to get worse and people will continue to get sick. So if you see someone in violation of the COVID-19 shelter in place order, contact the Emergency Operations Center at 229-302-1900. After hours, you can call 229-431-2132. All right, let's get a check on that uh, forecast for this Monday morning. Chris, how